Hello. So, this is something completely different, but it's something I have to do. As you can see, this amplifier miss, misses a knob. It's gone. So, uh, yeah. I need to fix that. So this is uh, uh, a bit beaten up. It's an amplifier of uh, a girl I know pretty well. Um, I gave her this amp once for her birthday when it looks uh, looked a little bit better than this, but she used it a lot in her store and now at home. But it it's moved around quite a lot, and somebody bumped the volume knob off. So I'm gonna replace that, hopefully. It's uh, from the same seri series, I think. Ah, no, well, no, this is not from the reference series. Aha. Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh, okay, well. So it's not from the same series, it looks the same as my older reference series, I'm, but uh, everything was a bit more sturdy and beefier. Far more sturdier and beefier. One of the amps I loved pretty well, although stereo amps. So not very useful for me today when I play with active systems before I change it to passive. Well, anyhow, I need to know uh, what kind of uh, potential potentiometer. I hate this fucking word. Is in there? Probably could find it in the. Maintenance guide, but I don't have a maintenance guide. So let's see. We're gonna use a power drill because I'm not looking forward to use a screwdriver. I'm just gonna. So you can see there the you see these spans are really nice I think it's a really cool solutions solution it was in my amp as well so you're putting the dial here selecting a input for instance but it's not actually this is not what making what's making contact they have the contacts on the PCBs and they use this to control them so that's a very neat solution I think because it, it keeps the signal path really small as well as it makes it easier to um, use some yeah use some contact spray because I need to use some because it's crackling all over the place this things have seen better days I think it's disgusting but we'll fix that with some air but by the looks of it my amplifier had also the potentiometer, uh, potentiometer pots I'm gonna use the word pots now because I'm it's not gonna fare nicely. It has had it like in a separate housing with you know, like a huge bar to control it. Also, same reason as they did for the selectors. So this is most obviously a cheaper model, as you can see. I mean, much, much cheaper. But still, it functions, or it did at least. So uh, now the question is, how do I, oh, my camera is out of battery, that will be the first time. Um, so what do I have to remove? Huh. Really, I have to, maybe I can get away with just removing this front, that would be nice, but probably not. So these these knobs need to get off. 
but these are also cheaper. I just pull them off. When I was a kid, I uh, all the equipment I had, I just once in a while pulled it all off and uh, washed them and such. Kind of weird, eh? But that's what I did. Mm. Ha! Huh, that's not gonna work. Oh, oh well, I wanted my Knipex, but this will do. There are multiple clicky uh, thingies. This one is for the steel part, I think. Yeah, so I don't need to unclick these. Or maybe, maybe I do. There might be a screw behind it, yeah. That's tricky. There's a clicky bit here as well. Ow. Somehow. Yeah. Hit you. There's one here. What a weird construction. <laughs> One last clip. Let's go with my aluminium. Oops, I bumped you. So there you have a front, which is nice. This can go into the dishwasher or if I have one actually, I don't have one, but I can clean it while I'm at it. And then there is a hidden screw here. That one. I'm not seeing what I'm doing. Now we should be able to remove this whole front part. If all the clicky things are loosened up. So this one and this one. I swear I didn't peek at the manual. Then of course wires are too short. Cool. 
this one. Now, set these up. Oops. It's not fun though. Too many screws. Yes. I'll just break it down. There you go. There's one. I'll put it here. It's like one of these grabby thingies where you just pull the wires in. So I'm gonna mark it how it should be sitting. So there. This one here, you can like push it or pull it up, I'm not sure. And then pull the wires out, if I'm correct. Yeah, you see? So it's not actually a connector, but more of a grippy thingy. So there is a line on there, but I just want to add my own. So I know uh, how uh, to connect it again. Okay, so I'm zoomed in still. So here's the connector as well. What is this for kind of connector also? All kinds of weird connectors I've never seen before. I wasn't born then, when this was created, I think. So that's our board. Brown PCB. That's the one I need to replace. I expected a green pot meter, like a uh, pulps, what is it? I forgot the name, well you know what I mean like a decent one but this is a rather shitty one and a weird one as well not sure if I can find this one so that's no fun is there an ability to get rid of these cables these have connectors if I can figure out how they work just gonna leave them on so first it is Alps by the way it is a Alps just the very old one not the green color I am usually know so there's a part number so I'm gonna look it up and leave it in there before I receive a new one. And then the, the turkey thing is, uh, is it smart <laughs> to put this mess away and hope for the best, that you still know where shit should supposed to be. Yeah, that's tricky, yeah? I think that's uh, good enough. I'll put them in some 
receptacles. Just stack them. So I have first the back side. One, two, three, four. Then I remove that. Then I have these side screws. Then I didn't have a clue how to get this stuff out. And I had to remove the whole steel. Then I had one screw in the middle, which is one of these.